Hello everyone! Welcome back to Making Art with Mrs. Gordon. Today we will be creating this snowy city. So let's bundle up for the snow field drawing. First thing you'll need is a clean white sheet of paper. You'll also need a pencil, color pencils or crayons, whatever you're choosing to work with for today. And then you'll need a blue marker. You could use markers for the entire image, but for me, I wanna do a little bit of mixed media, so I wanna use a marker, and I wanna use color pencils for the majority of my work. So make sure you have those supplies, and then we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. So I live in the city of Chicago, and it has been a very snowy two weeks. Um, and snow is just on the horizon. It just really started doing this. So in the next few days and weeks, it's going to continue to snow. So our city has very much been a white covered landscape. And I really wanted to kind of recreate that idea on paper. For this drawing, we are going to keep it very simple. So this way, anyone ages K through 8, 8th grade can really create this work. First thing I'm going to actually work with, I'm going to use my pencil and I'm going to grab a ruler. If you don't have a ruler, you can use anything like a folder or a book or a dry erase board to use that straight edge to get a straight line. We are going to make several buildings using creating rectangles using our ruler to make sure this building stays perfectly straight. And we're going to create different buildings of different uh, sizes and um, we're going to layer them throughout the paper. So we're going to take them all the way across and then we'll create our background. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my ruler. My first building, I'm going to start it over here. So I'm going to have it hug the edge of this paper. So I'm going to draw the right side of the building. And I'm just going to use my ruler to draw a straight line. So starting at the bottom of the paper, I'm going to draw a straight line going up. And I'm going to stop wherever I feel like I want that building to be the tallest. Once I have that line in, I'm going to leave the tops empty. I'll show you why later. I'm going to continue to draw these straight lines. Again, you want to have some of the straight lines close together, some far apart, so you have a variety of buildings. Some will be wide and some will be narrow, and you want some to be tall and some to be short. So think about that as you draw your lines. I'm going to bring this one a little closer so this building can be a little bit more narrow. And I think I'm going to actually also make this building a little shorter as well. All right, I'm going to continue. I think this building will be wide. So I'm going to draw my line here. I'm probably not going to go as tall as the first building, but I want to be taller than this one I just drew. Now, I actually, I actually might make this one just a bit taller later. And then I'm going to continue, maybe do a pretty short building on this corner. So this would be probably my shortest. So I know right now it doesn't look like much. This part is really easy. You just have to draw several different lines of different heights and space them apart differently just so you can get a variety of buildings. Once you have that, you will actually not need this ruler anymore. My next step is to draw my roofs. Usually I would use a ruler to draw a straight line across, but remember this is a snowy scene. So each building has layers of snow on top of them. So I'm gonna actually use my pencil and I'm going to draw wavy lines at the top of each building to create the look of snow. So I'm going to start here on the left and I'm going to just draw a wavy line starting from the corner and I'm going to overlap that a bit and then I'm going to come back around. and then I have my layer of snow for that building. And I'm gonna repeat that process throughout each one. So now I have all my buildings drawn. It almost feels like a ladder of uh, steps going down. 
but again yours can be tall short wide narrow however you want it to be my next step I'm gonna add windows inside of each of these buildings. So you can, and I would recommend going back with your ruler if you want the windows to be perfectly straight, or you can just freehand them. I am probably gonna try to use the ruler just to keep the windows, the squares, as straight as possible. So I'll do that really quick, and then I'll come right back. Our next step we are going to add in the swirls in the sky the swirls in the sky are going to represent the wind that is blowing because we are the windy city of Chicago so I'm going to draw large swirls in the sky and then after that we'll go in and start talking about colors so to draw a swirl you want to find a point to begin and then you're just gonna go around and around until you get to you touch the edge of the paper when you get to a building do not draw on top of it you want to pick up your pencil and then continue drawing so I'm going to do that again just so you can understand exactly what I mean so again find a point you want to begin whenever you as you're doing your swirl when you get to an object like a building or another swirl you want to pick up the pencil and go around you don't want to overlap so find a point and then we're going to go around and continue going around. I got to this building, then I'm going to pick up my pencil, just kind of follow it, see where it would have landed. And then I'm going to continue drawing my swirl. Then I'm going to draw another one over here, find a point, and then just start drawing swirl. I'm just going to keep going because I do want to get a little larger. So I'm going to just kind of keep creating till I get out to that point. And I think that's as far as I want to go. Let me actually I'm add a little bit more to this one. So let's say it just comes back on that side. And then it comes down over here. And it's going to connect there. I just want the work swirls to be a little closer to one another. Almost overlapping one another all right perfect so if you see any mistakes that you created just go back erase and fix anything that may not be exactly how you want it to be this is the point where you want to fix while you still are using your pencil don't wait until you have colored pencil or marker or crayon down because you will not be able to erase it 
um, even though color pencil and crayon will erase a little bit, it will still tint the paper so you'll never get it back to the white. So once you have your city, your buildings, you have your swirls in the sky that represent our wind, we are then going to start coloring. Now keep in mind, we do want to make this a snowy scene. So with my pencil, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna draw small circles throughout on top of the buildings, on top of the swirls, so I know exactly where my snowflakes will be, and then I won't color in those areas. So now I have that, I think I'm done using my pencil for now. I may come back to it. What I wanna do now is I wanna jump over to my marker. I'm gonna actually trace these swirls in this deep blue color because I wanna color over them and I really want to um, be prominent. I really want the swirls to stand out. So you don't have to do this, but this is what I'm doing just to make them stand out. So using my marker, I'm just gonna retrace over my swirls. I'm not gonna, um, just take your time if you choose to do this so you don't make any mistakes. And then I'll just fast forward through this pretty quick just so you can see what I did. And then we'll start up on the rest of it. All right, so now we have our swirls traced. Again, this is an optional portion. You do not have to do this. Once you have this traced, then you can decide what colors you wanna have for the rest of your picture. So I'm gonna put my marker, my pencil to the side. I'm gonna start deciding what colors I want for my buildings. I want them to be pretty realistic. So I think, um, or not realistic, I don't wanna make them too bright because it is a winter day. Things tend to be a little bit more toned down. And I'm going to add my colors to my buildings. Keep in mind, as you're adding the colors to your buildings, you want to avoid the snow. Keep that the white of the paper. And also the snow at the top of the buildings. Keep that the white of the paper. When you get to your swirls, I would recommend using a nice blue. And then again, just avoid that snow, those snowflakes that are falling. So I'm going to go ahead and begin coloring. You can watch and pause as you see fit. And then I'll come back once my image is complete.
All right, so here is my completed image. Now, it wasn't very hard, was it? All you really have to do, the hardest part is putting in the buildings and the windows, but everything is really, really simple. You can use any type of medium you want to use. It. Just a quick overview, I use marker on the swirls in my sky that represent the wind. And then I use colored pencil for everything else. And then last final touch I did was on the windows. I kept them, I actually made them all a really light blue to make them feel like glass. And then I added the streaks on those windows that you kind of get when light reflects to show that it's a glass uh, surface. So this is what I have. I wish I could see all of your work. Before we go, we want to make sure, though, that we sign off on our beautiful designs so you can use any type of medium. I'm actually going to use a marker just so it shows really well, and I'm going to sign my name in the bottom right-hand corner here. So sign your work, take credit for it, and if you like this video, please uh, hit the like button share it if you really enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to see more and thank you all so much for making art with mrs gordon